What up, Digital Slang? Welcome back. Today, we're going to check out a pair of headphones. They come in right around 62 bucks. They do have an ambient mode. They do have active noise cancellation. We're going to check it out. It is a hybrid ANC, so we'll see how good that is. The Super EQ S1, the black and red colorway here. Take a look at this box, a very loud box. Let me know. Drop a comment below. What do you think of this box? It is loud, and it is screaming. Look at me. Be young, be free. That is kind of their motto here. The black and red colorway, it does come in a white colorway as well. The S1, a very loud box, not my style, but to each their own. Now also, inside of the box, we do get an airplane adapter. We do get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, so you can wear these wired if you want. Now just be aware, if you do wear these wired, the microphone does not work if you do wire these up. And already, my one gripe here, micro USB to charge. Now, these have been out for a little while, so I'll let it slide, but we are at a point in time where nothing should be micro USB anymore. Not on our tech, not in 2021. That's just how I feel. Drop a comment, guys. Let me know what you think of micro USB in 2021. Now, we do get a carrying case, very nice carrying case here. It does have their Super EQ branding on it, and on the back, 24 month warranty and lifetime service. I even got some advertisements and emails on the back and the paperwork, user's manual, and other stuff that nobody is ever going to look at. And if we take a look at the actual headphones here, again, black and red color. You guys know I'm a huge fan of this color combination. The Super EQ branding on the side of the headphones here. And let's just take a look. So it does slide. It is pretty smooth. I do like that. Now, they're a plastic build, uh, but they're not super light. They actually feel like they do have a good bit of weight to it, almost 10 ounces. I believe they're right around 9.9 .9 ounces. And the ear cups, memory foam protein on the ear cups. And the ear cups are comfortable. I do like the ear cups on here. And you can see Super EQ S1 on here, and then some FCC stuff on the other side. And they are pretty well built here. It would take a lot to actually snap these. And overall, not too bad. Now my one gripe about these headphones here, wearing these, one good thing, one bad thing. For me anyway, it might be different for you, but for me, the ear cups, I do like them. I think they're very comfortable. They fit my ears perfectly. They cover my entire ear almost perfectly. And there's a good bit of noise isolation on these headphones. So I do really enjoy that because when I'm using a pair of headphones with really good noise isolation, it's gonna make the ANC better, it's gonna make the sound quality better, there's not gonna be any sound leakage going out if I'm using these out and about. Now, the one thing I don't like about how these fit is this top part here. There's basically no cushion up top here, and it's a little disappointing, so I can only wear these for about an hour, hour and a half at a time because of that, I don't have any hair. So that is a problem for someone like me there is really no cushion on here, but there is a good clamp force, the ear cups, really good noise isolation on here, and they fit. I got a huge head, and they fit me really well, except for that top part. That top part is a problem for me. I wish there was a little more padding up top there, but let's check out the controls on here. We'll just get right into it. Touch controls on here control everything, including volume, which is always a good thing. You also have a dedicated button here for ANC, in ambient mode, you have your 3.5 millimeter jack. You can wear these wired. Just again, if you do wear these wired, you're not gonna have access to the microphone. Microphones only work in Bluetooth on these headphones. And then the port to charge, the micro USB. There are four mics on here. We're gonna test that out when we do a mic test, but that also does help with the ANC. About negative 33 decibels on the ANC. And the ANC, let's just get right into it. The ANC, let's talk about the ANC and the ambient mode on these headphones. Now the ANC on these headphones is actually pretty good. You know, I was surprised at how good they were. You know, if you follow the channel, you guys know I've been mining. So I got these mining rigs in different spots of the house and it's kind of the perfect place to test ANC. So I've been testing it at the shop. I've been testing ANC here. And I gotta be honest, if I'm standing right next to the miners and they're loud, it's like five or six GPUs running with fans at about 90%. So they're pretty loud. When I turn ANC on, it almost eliminates everything. I can barely hear it. So ANC on here for 60 bucks, 
I'm pretty happy with. I think it's really good. I think they did a really good job here with the amount of ANC that these mics you know, take out. They take out a lot of that low rumble, that ambient noise from the outside. It, it does away with it. Now, the one thing about ANC though, it does add some white noise. So it might take away from the outside noise, but it is adding its own noise while you do that. So you're not gonna get that peace and quiet with ANC, which is kind of a bummer at the same time. So it does a really good job at, at getting rid of that outside noise, but it's bringing in its own noise, which eh, kind of defeats the purpose in my opinion. But for the price, I think it does a pretty good job. And the ambient mode on here, it's pretty natural sounding. It's, you know, it's nothing excessive. It's, it's a decent amount of ambient noise. But if you're talking or something like that, it, it's pretty natural. And if you just are listening to sounds with the ambient mode turned on, it is pretty natural. I think the one thing that takes away from it is the good amount of noise isolation that you get on the ear cups. So that kind of takes away a little bit, you know, being so good, it kind of takes away just a little bit from the amount of ambient noise that you can hear with ambient mode turned on. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with how good the ambient mode and the ANC is on these headphones. I wish there was, well, I wish there wasn't any white noise with ANC turned on, but it is what it is. We're paying 62 bucks for them and that's what we get. Overall, I'm still impressed with the amount of ANC that we do get out of these headphones. Next, let's talk about the sound quality and the volume on these headphones. Volume wise, I think for most people, you're going to be just fine. I rock these right around 85, 90%. And I do have a little extra if I want a little extra, and I think you're going to be good. I think for most people, these get loud enough. I don't think you're gonna have any issues with how loud they get. Now, the sound quality on the Super EQs, there's some good bass. You know, the clarity is good, not great. I wish there was a little bit more, but that is because of the bass. The bass does linger a little bit. It does take away from the amount of clarity we get from the mids and the highs. It still sounds pretty good, not bad, now the one gripe I have with the sound quality on here, if you turn ANC on, while you're listening to music, it's a problem. It takes away from everything. I do not like how it sounds. If you're going to get these headphones, do not use ANC and do not listen to music at the same time. I just don't like it. Now, on its own, the music is decent. It's pretty good. For 60 bucks, I'm okay with it. There's some good bass. The clarity is, you know, decent. So overall, they're not bad. I just want a little more clarity at this point in my <laughs> tech journey, right? I've, I've tested enough headphones. I know what I really like now, and I want a little more clarity. Clarity is kind of key for me. I want some good bass, don't get me wrong. I want it to be punchy, I want it to hit, and I want it to disappear. I don't want it to linger and take away from the rest of my music, the mids and the highs. I want them to be clear. I prefer a little more highs as well now. These aren't so bad, but don't listen to ANC or don't turn ANC on if you are listening to music. But overall, for 60 bucks, again, we talked about the, a, the ANC and the ambient mode, pretty good. Ambient mode is pretty good, not as strong or powerful as some of the other ones out there, but it's a very natural sound and I like it. The ANC on these earbuds, very good. I think they did a great job at this price point of getting really good ANC, except for that white noise. Volume-wise, we're good. Sound quality, I just talked about. The bass hits, it lingers a little bit. It takes away from the clarity just slightly. Overall, not a bad sound, but don't listen to ANC while playing music. So just keep that in mind. Next, we're going to jump in. Let's do a mic test. Check out the mic. What up, guys? The Super EQ True Wireless Headphones ANC Ambient Mode all for $62. Let me know what you guys think. How does the mic sound? Is it clear? Let me know, drop a comment below. Now, as far as the latency on these headphones, if you are a gamer, you will experience some delay if you are playing those more intensive games. The Call of Duties and games like that, there is a slight delay, and you will notice it every now and then. It's not constant, you're not gonna always see it, but it is there, it is apparent, and you will notice it. Now, lighter games, Temple Run, Candy Crush, anything like that, you're going to be just fine watching games, videos, YouTube videos, Netflix, things like that, you're not going to have any issues whatsoever. Now, let's talk about the touch controls on here. Again, physical buttons on your headphones that do control everything. Let's go over them really quick. We'll play some music. Let's lower this so you guys can't hear everything too bad. 
And the middle button here, this is your play and pause button. If we click it once, it will pause. And if we click it again, it will play. Now, this button here, this is your volume control, volume up. And the bottom button is your volume down. Now, if you just touch and hold on that, it will go to the next track. And if you touch and hold on the other one, it will go back to the previous track. And again, the other button on here, this button here, that is your dedicated ANC button. You can turn ANC on, you can turn ANC off, you can scroll to ambient mode and ANC. So lots of options on here, very good. And of course you do have the 3.5 millimeter jack. If you want to rock these wirelessly, just be aware again, you will not have any access to the mic if you do wear the wires with these headphones. So overall, look, the Super EQ S1, they're pretty good for 62 bucks. Are they worth 62 bucks? Yeah, I think they are. I think the, the sound quality is decent, it's good, not great. The level of ANC and transparency mode on a pair of earbuds or on a pair of headphones at this price point are pretty good. The one gripe with the ANC, that white noise that comes in, I would like it to be a little more silent, a little more quiet, but overall pretty good for the price. Volume wise they're good, the latency, it is what it is. You kind of expect that at this price point, you know, and Overall, not bad. Drop a comment below, guys. Let me know what you think of the microphones on these headphones. I do like the look of them. I do like the color of them. Another grape I have is no padding up top. I do need a little more padding on my headphones. But overall, not bad, you know. The Super EQ S1. I'll drop the link below, guys. The white colorway looks super dope, too. Just, you know, check it out if you want. If not, we're good, too. You guys enjoy the week. I'll be back soon. Peace.